Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dylan again from Cooper Colt here today to talk about the boost gains you can expect when switching from a stock supercharger pulley to a 17% reduction pulley, as well as some tips for the install. Now there are many different options for supercharger pulleys out there, but I went with the Alta Ignition Pack with the 17% reduction pulley. This comes with a MSD coil pack, uh, VMS racing spark plug wires, risk racing plugs, as well as an Alta tensioner stop and the correct belt for the smaller size pulley. Now before I show the difference between the stock pulley and the new pulley I put on, I want to give you guys some tips for the install itself. First off, you're going to want to watch the available install videos already on YouTube. It'll help you be more prepared for the whole process. You're also going to want to pick up a few specialty tools such as the belt tensioner tool as well as a uh, stock supercharger pulley remover tool. I got mine from Craven Speed and I also would advise you have a pair of vice grips on hand and keep the uh, stock belt. You'll put this over the clamshell tool and use it to prevent it from slipping off of the uh, supercharger pulley. Now unlike some install videos, I only jacked up the front of the car and put it on jack stands. But if you do that, you're going to want to watch how the engine is oriented. Um, that was hot. Uh, <laughs> um, but it will uh, it shifts a lot when you have it more at an angle. And when you push up on it, just make sure that you know where it needs to be when you're putting it all back together. It'll help the bottom bolts all line up. It sounds pretty self-explanatory, but it can become a pain because it's so heavy and at an angle. Um, another thing you're going to want to watch is when you are jacking the engine up and down to get the various bolts out, um, watch for any plastics hitting it uh, or cracking or creaking. I heard a lot of sketchy sounds so you just want to stop before you go too far and take a look, make sure any lines aren't hitting or uh, I think my fan shroud was hitting at one point. So just keep an eye on all of that. Now another thing that I would advise is if you already are upgrading the supercharger pulley, I would go ahead and service the supercharger as well while you're at it. Um, I split it into two separate tasks. I did the supercharger pulley one day, and I'm going to do the oil and the service to the supercharger another day. Okay, and now we'll go over the difference between the boost from the stock pulley to the 17% reduction pulley. As you can see, the stock pulley on a third gear pull on a fairly warm, about 75 degree day, made around 10 pounds of boost. Um, it can peak 11 in a colder temperature, but we got right at about 10. And now you can see with the new Alta Ignition Pack and 17% reduction pulley, we're making just about 15 PSI. That's a 5 PSI gain from the stock supercharger pulley, and that was on a warmer day. And the car definitely feels a bit faster and peppier. So there you have it. I wish I did the mod sooner because it's definitely worth it. Once again, I'm Dylan from Cooper Cult. We'll see you next time.